Hello. Good We're morning. Off. Good morning. Good morning. Is it morning? Good afternoon. Just turned twelve. Just turned twelve. Good afternoon. Um, off on our way down to Seacroft. So um, we'll take you with us, show <coughs> you around, and if it interests on the way, we'll um, let you know. We'll let you know. <laughs> An absolutely gorgeous day. We're on our way down to Chroma and the sun's come out. You'd be beret. You'd be beret. You'd be beret if the sun has come out. Absolutely gorgeous. Not much on the road either, so it's uh, not bad for a Friday afternoon. Normally you get loads of agriculture vehicles, obviously living in, living in Norfolk and going obviously over to the, um, over to the west coast to, uh, or is it east coast, over to the east coast to Cromer. Yeah, we'll catch you again in a minute. Just driving into, into Cromer. There's the, uh, the town centre over there, lovely, the big, uh, big church. Uh, that sits in the middle. We'll show you that later on. After the day or tomorrow. Just go along here up to the beach road. See? There's something special about being by the coast. So we arrived at Cromer, all set up, got a lovely little pitch. As you can see, we have a view of the sea. It's just there. We like Cromer. And the sun's shining. And it's Halloween. So, and it's Halloween. I know. You've already got your mask on. What'd you say? You've already got your mask on. Already got your mask on. A little bit harsh. Here's the reception there in summer. They've got a. Uh, a little pool, which is nice. Halloween party tonight, obviously, because Halloween's coming up. That's on Saturday. There's the, uh, the Wanderer Clubhouse. Quite nice. We'll go in there later on to show you around. We've 
you've got these information boards in Chroma, which are really, really, really great. Got some great information on. Meat on the menu. In the past, North Norfolk would have had been, in the past, North Norfolk would have been a much more dangerous place for a stroll. You might find some of the wild animals that live there quite surprising. Wolves, hyenas, large cats including lynx, buffalo. So I've got one of your ancestors there. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, proper, proper interesting. I can't believe how old this coastline is. Well, we could believe how old the coastline is, but... <laughs> History lesson today then, babe. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> It's an interesting fact for you, yeah. Proper interesting. Doggerland. Until 8,000 years ago, if you could, which is very short if you consider the Earth is 4.5 billion years, years old, what is now the British Isles was a peninsula of Europe. Most of southern North Sea was once an area of land, which is now referred to as Doggerland. mad when you consider all of that North Sea coast was actually land just imagine all of that going out for miles and miles and miles it was actually all once land dogger land it's surfing over there yeah Nice walk down into uh, in the Chroma. Chroma, there's the pier. In the background, there's the uh, the church. Is it probably it's a cathedral? Church. Probably a church, yeah. Well, these are some pretty serious steps. Be yeah. I tell you, Mark from the Northerners better not be going down these ones. These are dangerous. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, one and on and on. <laughs> yeah, it's got a lovely view of the beach though. Up here. Right, from there, as you can see, there are stairs that we just walked down. Absolutely beautiful being by the seafront, listening to the sound of waves. Gorgeous. There's the uh, Pavlon Theatre on the end of Chroma Pier. It looks a bit murky though, doesn't it? North Sea. Why? Well, I think we've been stirred up because we've had some pretty bad weather. It's still lovely. Gem of the Norfolk Coast, Roma. Little 
narrow street. Soldiers. All the horses that were lost in the war. Coming into uh, Cranley Church inside. Absolutely stunning. You all Beautiful. Yeah, the west window. This this window shows the ascension of Christ. It was donated by Robert W. Clark in memory of his parents and was dedicated in 1959. The previous stained glass window, most of the other church windows were damaged and destroyed by bombs in the 1942, uh, during the Second World War. But yeah, no. Absolutely stunning. Uh, St Luke's Chapel, just a place for, for praying. A stunning view. Jo? Hello. Fish and chip time. Chrome is number one. <laughs> So here we are at the bus stop. <laughs> I haven't no. been on the bus for years, many years. Not been on the bus for years. Going to uh, have a little trip into Holt. So um, yeah, we'll take you with us. Just going through uh, East London. Very reasonable. Still on the bus, sharing them. Just up on the North Norfolk Railway. The old uh, steam line. So, just off the bus, and uh, have a look around Holt. Hey. Doesn't say, no. Yeah, you've got some serious jewellery here. 
you know it's expensive when uh, there's not prices in the window. If you catch your fancy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the expensive ones. Lots of little point shops though, gorgeous. Two Megabyte Bakery. Lots of little quaint, quaint shops. Yeah, one of our favourite shops. One of Sam's favourite shops. <coughs> That's a lovely little painting in there. Just hundreds and hundreds of little boutiques. Yeah, from Kit Feed ever. So there's a no then. <laughs> So we just stopped for a beer. We've got a pint of Foster's and a double rhubarb. Oh, no, 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 it's a double gin with slimline tonic. £16.45. <laughs> wow. Might save it. Frame it's it. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Holt is a lovely place, but wow, how expensive is the beer? Mm. Yeah. We should only be having one. Although we come on the bus, we're only going to be having one at those prices. Ridiculous. I <laughs> <Hey>, will. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a little place where we're sitting though. Just a bit of information about Holt. Holt is the Anglo-Saxon word for wood. The majority of the settlements locally are of the Anglo-Saxon origin, others mainly being Roman and Viking. In 1086, Holt had an adult male population of just 60, according to the Doomsday Book. By 2015, it had a population of 3,962. Nice bit of information for you. Just watched the World Rugby World Cup final. Well done, South Africa. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> this is the uh, clubhouse. The one's gone now. The last out. Mm -hmm. On that note, we'll say good night. Good morning from sunny Cromer. Um, just packing up now. Just um, got the silver screen drying off and the uh, and the mat. But yeah, had a cracking couple of days. Just having a look round. Went over to Holt. It's a lovely blue clear day. It's a lovely look at that lovely blue sky. Absolutely gorgeous. Morning. Bad to go. 
Yeah, but another nice another nice weekend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Absolutely superb. <laughs> Hope you've liked our vlog. Hope you've liked our vlog. <laughs> you stop it again. Yeah, no, that has to stop it again. Okay. Hope you. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> well, I'm sort of just saying it nicely. Yeah, isn't it? Take three. Oh. Take three. Go on. I hope you've liked our vlog. Please uh, like and subscribe. Obviously, we're trying to grow the channel. Um, and we'll see you... On the next one. On the next one. <laughs>